In Path of Exile, armor is a stat which reduces the amount of physical damage one will take. On today's episode of PoE Math, we'll be taking a look at exactly how the damage reduction is calculated and just how effective it can be. Let's take a look at the formula now. When a target is dealt physical damage, the damage will be multiplied by 1 minus the target's armor divided by the target's armor plus the incoming physical damage times 12. While this formula may look confusing, we can break it down into a few solid facts. As the amount of damage one takes increases, the percentage of damage mitigated decreases, and vice versa. For example, let's say one has 100 armor and they take 3 different hits of physical damage equal to 10, 100, and 1000. The percentage of damage reduced with each hit will decrease greatly as the amount of damage goes up. While we can't go over every possible damage reduction scenario, we can look at a few benchmarks marks that will help one decide how much armor is necessary for their build. If one wants to mitigate 10% or more of the physical damage dealt to them, they must have armor greater than or equal to 1.33 times the incoming physical damage. For 25% mitigation or more, they must have armor greater than or equal to 4 times the incoming physical damage. For 50% or more, they must have armor greater than or equal to 12 times the incoming physical damage. For 75% or more, they must have armor greater than or equal to 36 times the incoming physical damage. Finally, Finally, we should note that armor will never reduce incoming physical damage by more than 90%. To reach this level of damage reduction, one must have armor greater than or equal to 108 times the incoming physical damage. At 5000 armor, one will reach this level if they are dealt 46.3 physical damage or less. At 10,000 armor, one will reach this level if they are dealt 92.59 physical damage or less. Finally, at 20,000 armor, one will reach this level if they are dealt 185.19 physical damage or less. Overall, one should keep these benchmarks in mind when deciding how much armor they need for their character. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. You can also like PoE Math on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and watch me livestream on Twitch. Thanks for watching this episode of PoE Math.